Hello and welcome to the final video of my four part series focused on how to be happy at work. Um, as a recap, my name is Anna Rasmussen and I am thrilled to be part of this series as I'm deeply passionate about supporting people to reach their full potential. And we can't achieve this without being happy at work. I have been a leadership development coach for over 15 years and I'm now the founder and CEO of a platform called OpenBlend. OpenBlend is a people-centered performance tool that supports all aspects of an individual's development journey. This focuses on performance, well-being, work-life blend drivers and continual feedback, all underpinned with coaching frameworks. So ultimately, it's entirely focused on ensuring that people are happy at work. This is the final step of the four step journey, which will help ensure that you've thought through all the aspects that contribute to you being happy or unhappy at work. We've already raised awareness surrounding you, your manager and your role. And now today we're focused on what um, I focus on your company. And by the end of this journey, you will be in a position to create all the actions and implement the changes that impact your happiness at work. So, as mentioned before, we've already focused on you, your manager and your job role. And now it's our final building block, your company. So company culture is the personality of a company. It defines the environment in which we work. Company culture includes a variety of different elements, including the work environment, the company mission, the value, the ethics, expectations, goals and many more. So I'm going to ask you a series of questions. Um, you can answer these however you feel most comfortable to do so. However, it might be useful to use um, a scale of 0 to 10 and rate some of the answers on there. So question number one, do you know and believe in the purpose of your company? If so, what specifically? And if not, why not? Question number two, Rate your level of passion for the product or the service you offer. Does your answer surprise you? If so, what specifically surprises you? And if not, why not? Question number three. Rate the culture of your company from your perspective. Why have you chosen that particular school? Question number four, how happy does your company culture make you? And what is contributing to how you've rated that? Question number five, do you know the values of your company? If you do, do you believe in them? Question number six, what is the best environment you've ever worked in and why? Question number seven, based on your previous answer, how does your current company culture compare? What are the similarities and what are the differences? Okay, so our final exercise. We've now covered our fourth building block on our road to self-awareness about what makes us happy at work. So we've touched on you, your manager, your role, and your company. So the final exercise is to use all of this increased self-awareness to identify three actions that you can implement to help you reach your goal of being happy at work. These can be big, they can be small, but just make sure that they are achievable. Thank you so much for participating in these videos. Um, I sincerely hope that they have helped you understand what constitutes being happy at work, but most importantly, I'm happy for you. Remember, you have got the power to be happy at work and only you. At OpenBlend, we support individuals, managers and companies to be happier and more productive at work. 
As a business, we're doing extremely well. We've got some amazing clients, which demonstrates that there is a significant appetite in the market from businesses to ensure that their people are happy. This is very reassuring, and I'm sure that if you take some of these actions off the back of the, these, these workshops back into your businesses, they will welcome them with open arms. So good luck on your journey, and I wish you all the best for a very happy future.